Yes, sir. The omnibus spending bill includes a clause banning the sale of arms to the neo-Nazi-linked Azov Battalion. This comes after the United States has supplied weapons and training to the Ukrainian militia. Dan Cohen with more tonight. For the past three years, similar provisions in House spending bills that would have banned the U.S. from selling arms to the neo-Nazi-linked Azov Battalion were stripped before final passage. But last week's bill passed with the ban intact. California Congressman Ro Kahana is behind the provision. He wrote on Twitter, Nazis are a threat to freedom and democracy wherever they are and should not receive any military support from the U.S. I spoke to journalist and author Max Blumenthal about the provision. It may be because the U.S. is losing patience with President Petro Poroshenko and his administration. And so you have a terrifying situation as a result of the rise of these Nazi groups in Ukraine. And Amnesty, international human rights groups are beginning to recognize it, as is Congress. Azov Battalion is a militia that was incorporated into the Ukrainian National Guard following the Euromaidan revolution of 2014. It's reputed to be one of the most effective forces fighting pro-Russian separatists, and neo-Nazis are among its ranks. Azov symbol is the Nazi-inspired Wolfsangel patch, and it maintains a semi-underground misanthropic division, taking its recruits from neo-Nazi youth across Europe. The battalion's volunteers see themselves as taking part in a reconquista, establishing a white supremacist dictatorship in the mold of the Nazi collaborator regime that ruled Ukraine during World War II. Azov's founder, Andrei Beletsky, pledged to prepare Ukraine for further expansion and to struggle for the liberation of the entire white race from the domination of the internationalist speculative capital. This ban comes after the U.S. has long supplied Azov Battalion with training and deadly weapons. On March 1st, the State Department approved the sale of an estimated $47 million worth of Javelin anti-tank missiles to Ukraine. Azov Battalion's website shows photos depicting a warm relationship between a U.S. military officer shaking hands with an Azov officer sporting the Wolfsangel patch on his uniform. As there were these warnings about the rise of neo-Nazism in Ukraine, you saw neoconservatives from Jamie Kerchik to Michael Weiss, these operatives denying the very presence of Nazis at all. Uh, Representative John Conyers, when he attempted to prevent U.S. weapons from going to neo-Nazi elements in eastern Ukraine, was denounced by a former Bush Pentagon official as Putin's puppet. And so these, this smear campaign actually has contributed to neo-Nazi elements being armed with U.S. weapons. In Washington, Dan Cohen, RT.